okay guys so i have no makeup on my face right now i only have some eye makeup at the moment and my eyebrows done but that's it let's test these two foundations on my face i will test the super safe active wear on the right side of my face and the fit me matte and poreless on the left side of my face we'll begin with applying a little bit of primer and on my nose as you can see it's a little bit red right here because a pimple is developing right now i can feel it hurting already it's gonna be a giant table you know so let's begin with the foundation so i will apply this one first i got it on the shade 120 warm nude which is i think is not the correct shade for me because the matte pearlis is literally my holy grail i've been using this foundation for the last i don't even know i think i finished like 20 of this in my whole life already this one um 220 i should have gotten this foundation in 220 as well but i read in the comments that this was a little bit darker than the fit me and they were lying <laughs> That is not true you should purchase your normal shade on this one as well so i should have gotten it into 20 and it would have matched me perfectly so i think this is gonna be a little bit light let's apply this i think i will do one pump first i will try to work as quickly as i can so it doesn't dry okay it's not that bad of a color match the 220 definitely is literally just my skin color okay let's do a little bit on the forehead this is already much heavier than the fit me which makes sense so i already went through one palm i'm gonna do another like half a pump just because I think I kind of missed my nose a little bit and under my eyes since I won't be applying any concealer so we can test the foundation on its own I'm really liking the coverage of this foundation I feel like this will be a little bit harder to blend with a brush I think they even say on their website to apply it either with like fingers or a sponge i saw a lot of mixed reviews online saying that this was too dry too heavy it was like mop <laughs> on your face which i don't really see that maybe they apply it like in a wrong way you know because this is actually looking really beautiful really like not like a hundred percent full coverage because you can still see a little bit just a little bit my skin coming through let's do this side the fit me side and you will see that this one this color matches me better as you can see already this is more like on the runny liquid side okay let's do that first love adore 100 percent love this foundation let's do this side oh my god that dimple hurts <laughs> oh my god it hurts a little bit on the forehead a couple of dots a little bit more on the nose because i feel like that redness is still coming through and something I really love about this foundation is that it's really buildable. Since I'm not going to use concealer, let's do a little bit more under the eyes. It's really hard to cover out that little pimple coming through. <laughs> I think it will be easier for this foundation to cover that apps. How it did right here, you already saw me at the beginning. I had a lot of like little acne dots around here and this foundation is doing amazing to cover it okay so i think i'm done let me watch them up close because i really want to judge them okay so this one does 
much better job at covering up imperfections something i've noticed though is that with this one you can see that it kind of shows my pores a little bit more than with the family one right here i feel like here they are like more lure but in this since it's heavier i feel like it is sticking to my pores a little bit more noticeable than here we'll try to get close So this is the active, this is the fit me side, which I think my pores are able to breathe a little bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna set both sides with powder because my skin can tend to be like really oily with lasting fix banana powder by Maybelline as well. I will just set my T-zone. Bronzer, I'm using the Hula bronzer. Now for a little bit of blush, Physicians Formula Butter Blush in Monois. So beautiful. So right now I'm feeling more the these little orangey colors. So I will just dip my brush on just those two colors. I'm done with the makeup. I love how it's looking right now. It's so funny that these two are like different shades and they kind of look the same on my face but I can tell like in real life maybe the camera is not picking it up that much but I can tell that this side is lighter you know I wish I got this one on my regular shade 220 because to be honest I'm really liking how the is like serving coverage as you can see like you saw how my face looked at the beginning and you see how my face is looking right now. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Let's see if I still feel like this after a couple hours. I will do a checkup after the gym and, and I will do another checkup before going to bed. Let's see you in a couple hours. Bye! So I'm back from running errands, going to the gym, and all that stuff. I need to check on with you guys how these foundations are performing. I put on this foundation at 4.50. Right now it's 9.10. And it's been like 4 hours and a half since I had this foundation. We're going to see what happened with the sweat, with the mask, because I was wearing a mask. So and also with my glasses so let's see what happened around my nose okay so if you don't remember this side is with me and this side is super stay okay so in both sides you can see the mark of my glasses like literally you can see skin coming through right here and right here i think here is a little bit less than on this side but like it makes sense since this is much fuller coverage normally i tend to get foundation off around this area but i don't see that it has come off actually the foundation has definitely broken <laughs> around here you can see basically my skin coming through literally the only problem area is my nose that the foundation has come off and that makes sense because of the glasses and i was wearing a mask basically the whole time i was doing my exercises so that is understandable but overall i think these both foundations do an amazing job now that i have it for like a couple hours this one is heavier than this one it just you can feel it it's not that big of a deal. I don't feel like I have like pounds of makeup on my face. I don't feel it that way. This one is just heavier, you know? 
and just in case I didn't touch up anything, I didn't put powder, I didn't put anything back on, just in case you were wondering. So you can see me a little being a little bit oily on my T-zone especially. But besides from like this part and a little bit on my forehead, I don't look like an oily mess. I think even the little shine coming through my face, I think it even looks nice in some type of way if you have dry skin if you're like more onto those light foundations that look like really dewy on the skin this is not for you i think this is too matte since i have combo skin a little bit more oily than dry uh, after a couple hours my own skin gives the foundation a glow in some type of way as you can see i'm gonna try to be like really close to the camera so you can see You can see my pores and everything like really texturized. Here is more like smoother, you know? I try to give you a one more update before I go to sleep. I see what happens back then. It's already 11.17. It has been two more hours since the last checkup. In about like almost seven hours from since I applied this foundation. I haven't done that much since the last checkup. I I have been just working on some stuff on my computer. I've noticed that I was moving my hand like this a lot. I was about to take my makeup off and I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm really tired as you can see in my eyes. So let's see. Again, we already know about the nose. You can see here my little pimple coming through my chin as well. I can see some lines of my skin coming through right here, but which is like normal since I was touching my face and I was like this and like moving. So it's okay, nothing major. I think my forehead is, it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's like, it is not like my chin, you know? My chin is not looking good right now. <laughs> Let's see the final verdict. Let's see which one wins for me. Uh, when it comes to coverage, the Super Stay wins 100%. I love how it covered my imperfections right here. When it comes to finish, I love the Fit Me. Um, I love that it still looks like the skin. It doesn't make my pores more noticeable, which this one does. I guess almost all matte like really matte foundations and high coverage foundations do i think i will mix this two i want the coverage of this one but i want the finish of this one so i feel like i will mix them on my hand the next time i apply them i really like them both i like the fit me more than this one though but i love the coverage of this one i want to show you something this is really like sweat proof waterproof everything because since i put it on my hand when I was applying it, you can still see it on my hand, actually. And I wash it, like I really wash it with soap on it. And it wasn't coming off. So this is 100% sweat proof. I'm gonna show you a clip of me washing it and of me washing the Fit Me from my hand. So you can see how this one like literally stays, like stays on your face. <laughs> or on your hand or wherever you put it that's something i really wanted to show you maybe it helps you to make a decision that's my verdict that's my final answer i will still repurchase this like 10,000 100 times like this one still it is on my heart i love this foundation i love how affordable it is i love how natural it is i uh, just love it and this one i love the coverage <laughs> it's too mixed will be like a good combo it's like 30 percent of this and 70 percent of this if you like this video and if it helped you in any type of way don't forget to give me a like down there don't forget to comment which one is your favorite and don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep watching videos from me my next video will be doing a full face of only maybelline new york products and i will actually do what i just said right now and i will mix these two together so let's see how they blend together and if it works as i think it will work that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and until next time ciao ciao